People tend to treat building high-end computers like creating a sculpture. The construction is slow and meticulous. Time is taken ensuring that every individual cable is routed and managed perfectly. Investments are made not only in their cutting edge hardware, but also in things that offer little to no performance improvement, like beautiful brushed aluminum and tempered glass. From their superior components, to their fine craftsmanship, to their seemingly cult-like community, it's easy to understand the passion. And like sculptures, the best personal computers are all about the builder's attention to detail. It has a GTX 980, like a desktop PC. It has rubber tubing, like the International Space Station. It has strapping, like a pickup truck. It has a magnesium aluminum alloy frame, like an F1 car. It mounts to your back like a jetpack. It features an AC to DC voltage converted power delivery system, like the Cray supercomputer. And it features dual exhaust ports, like an F-16 fighter jet. The LTT Edition VR backpack may just be the most revolutionary, closest to falling apart piece of technology ever pulled out of a Craigslist ad. The Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 modular design supports a variety of different layouts and configurations. Click on the link in the video description to learn more. All right, so first off, I need to give a shout out to the Drive YouTube channel and Corbin Goodwin for their awesome video, the Zero F Given RX7, which inspired the intro to this video. Corbin's car is badass. Go check it out. Now, getting back on topic, why did we make a VR backpack? It's actually rather simple. We wanted to play with it and you can't buy a commercial one yet. The B1 VR backpack that we checked out from Aorus in January at CES this year is vaporware. And the same is true for the Zotac VR backpack that was showcased at Computex this year. And while MSI has announced their VR1 backpack, and I've heard through the grapevine that a certain spacefaring organization that rhymes with BASA uh, anyways, they're going to use it for immersive training of their astronauts, which is very cool. And that also is not available yet. So if you want to solve the problem with the long cable that runs between the headset and the computer, also known as the tether, coming up with something yourself is the only way. Linus had one idea, but while he lightened the cable itself, he ended up wearing a backpack full of electronics so large and heavy that many of you wondered if he wouldn't be better off just, you know, putting the computing device on his back directly. This doesn't remove the tether, but it will remove any issues with the tether as you just need to cable manage it from, well, your back. So I set out to do this as cost effectively as possible without compromising on the experience. I started with a proper hiking style backpack frame with a waist buckle. The weight mitigation is really not a big deal. This thing with all this hardware weighs less than the bag I used to carry around school with just textbooks in it. But as with many things, the most important reason is cost. I got this backpack for 25 bucks off Craigslist from a lady who seemed like she would have rather had anyone come pick it up other than me. After removing the bag off of the frame, I had a perfect, solid, lightweight frame. I got the straps for another 20 bucks from Home Depot and some spare waist rubber tubing from Terran for free. 45 bucks all in, and with some more time spent deal shopping and thinking of your own creative ways to mount your laptop, it is possible that you could get even lower. Overall, none of this was that hard. I spent a bunch of time planning out the best possible way to mount everything, looking up thermal properties of different materials online and whatnot. Then I finally went to Home Depot to grab some gear to get it done and thought, hey, what about straps? Like, like pickup trucks. And that solution worked perfectly well and was far easier than what I was actually thinking of doing. So just head out to the local store or junkyard, get inspired and get her done. It's not that big of a deal. Now the reason I chose to do this with a laptop instead of various desktop components wasn't actually the difference in difficulty. It would have still been doable, 
but I just didn't feel like it was actually a compromise. The percentage of people buying gaming capable laptops is increasing at a surprising rate in no small part due to their performance. Even this last generation Acer Predator X17 has a high performance Intel Core i7-6820HK, a desktop grade 980, dual 256GB SSDs in RAID 0, 32 gigs of DDR4 memory, and more, including an air vent layout that worked perfectly for this setup. Not to mention that for somebody that already has one of these laptops, 45 bucks isn't too much to invest in order to be able to swap quickly between a VR backpack experience and the normal laptop experience that you're used to. Now, I know this video isn't gonna get a million views, and I also understand that it probably doesn't deserve it. The internet currently is fueled by hype, drama, and memes, and this video contains none of those. Sometimes I just feel obligated to make a video where I show that it really isn't that hard to just create something of your own. I'm actually rather proud of this rickety little bag. It's mine. I was the one that made sure it matched the standard Linus Tech Tips orange and black colors. I was the one that scared the nice lady while picking up the magnesium aluminum alloy frame. And I was the one that thought to use the strapping. I like to think of this project as a reflection of me. It's not perfect, but I'd like to think that it's very functional. And I'd like you to go out and create something that is a reflection of you. Send a picture or video of it to me at Linus Tech and tag me if you want to reply at Luke underscore LAFR. And by this, I do not mean just a collection of computer parts that you happened to plug into each other. I'm sure most of you watching are sufficient enough at Electrical Lego to get that done. Now, go make something cool and make it for you. Just let me know about it. Thanks for watching guys, if this video sucked, you know what to do, you can dislike it, but um, LTT Backpack Man will be very sad if you do that because um, I, don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you liked it as well, if you want to buy something, uh, uh, a laptop, there we go, check out the Amazon link in the video description down below. Also discuss how terrible my creation was on the forum, the LTD community forum, they're great over there. Um, and in the description down below you can buy a t-shirt, not this one, but like ones that are like this one. I just don't think this one's available anymore, but you know, that's cool, whatever. If you want to see another video, check out this one, where I turn an old computer case into a test bench. Also pretty cool.